and welcome. Hello and welcome. 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 To the Hillcroft Podcast. Awesome! For enhanced accessibility, this podcast will also be available on the Hillcroft Music Therapy YouTube page with closed captions. This month's podcast is brought to you by the Hillcroft Music Therapy Department and the Hillcroft Ice Cream Card. Hillcroft's world-famous ice cream cards are $10 per card and provide you with coupons to 15 shops at 18 locations for one whole year in the Muncie and Gaston, Indiana area. You receive unlimited uses. All proceeds go directly to Hillcroft Services and its work helping people with disabilities in our community. Order your cards online now at www.hillcroft.org backslash ice-cream-card and we'll mail it right to your door. This month's theme is the great outdoors. Group members discuss what outdoor activities were important to them and discuss memories surrounding time spent outside. Some outdoor activities in and around Hillcroft are participating in Special Olympic sports and bike riding. Many of our group members are either current members of Special Olympics have been at the same point in their life. Popular sports among our group area. Football. Basketball. Bowling. Jody. Boy. And Eric all have good memories of the regional Special Olympics Games held in Terre Haute. Indiana. Terre Haute is a two-day event. Josh, you spend the night yeah. at Terre Haute? Um, yes. Eric recalls the pain <laughs> escorting the van out of town. Jody likes the games that are played and the food that is available to eat. Lori enjoys the pizza party that is held in the evening before everyone goes to bed to prepare for the next day. Josh shared that he has medals in the past. If I win first place, what color medal do I get? Uh, go. If I get second place, what color medal do I get? Third. Third? I'm getting third place? Yeah. I'm losing? No, second place. <laughs> So, do I get a silver medal? Yeah, silver. <laughs> if I get third place, do I get bronze? Yeah, bronze. Many groups members like Jody Moten have been practicing like the same sport for many years, but others like Hayden are just joining a new sport this summer. Let's take a break for some news. For news and happenings around Hillcroft, we turn to our newsletter, The Gardener Gazette. Please enjoy its highlights brought to you by Christine, accompanied with incidental music from some of our talented music therapy clients. Hillcroft's all-new Gazette in Review. June 2021. Mask update. Based upon CDC recommendations, we continue requiring face coverings in agency facilities for staff and clients. However, there will no longer be temperature checks for those entering agency facilities. Please continue to self-assess and stay at home if you have symptoms. Healthy Hillcroft. Move, eat, be. Spotlight on skin care in the sun. Use sunscreen at at least SPF or at least 15. Apply sunscreen generously. Reapply every two hours or more if you're swimming or sweating. Seek shade. Avoid the sun between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. This is when the sun is the strongest. Wear protective clothing. Cover your skin. Wear tightly woven long sleeve shirts, long pants, and wide brim hats. 
Also consider laundry additives specifically designed to block ultraviolet ray. Bill Craft ice cream cards are now available. Here's the scoop, $10 per card. 15 different ice cream shops around town, 18 locations and unlimited uses. Give the gift of unlimited ice cream for any occasion. Order online today. Hillcroft.org slash ice dash cream dash card or pick up yours today. Expa night is June 10th between 6 and 8 p.m. We are going to run things just like before due to COVID-19 and social distancing. You are required to wear a mask and have temperature checks upon arrival. It will be by appointment, appointment only. There will be timesheets for times. Please contact Laura Couch or Leanne directly via text or email and see what times are available. To contact Leanne Rector, email lrector at hillcroft.org or Laura Couch at lcouch at hillcroft.org. Thank you for watching today's Gazette in Review. Our editors include Nate, Josh, Greg, Corey, and Christine. Some group members are also Abby is Barrado. At home, she likes her friends bike that she got for Christmas. But she also has rented a bike to ride around Mackinac Island. Todd told the group that he likes to ride on the Cardinal Greenway. Greg recalls that sometimes riding a bike is hard and you can crash. Abby and Mark of the podcast group sat down with Brandon to discuss bike riding in further detail. Mom? Hey. Bus, Mom. What kind of bike do you, do you ride? A three-wheel bike. Tell us about your three-wheel bike. The uh, three-wheel bike was a really good bike I ride, and it's easy to balance with three, uh, well, at the first area, it's like the front area, and then you got the other two sides of the front, or back behind it. So it's one wheel in front and two wheels in the back? Yep. Awesome. And you like that style over a two-wheel bike? Yep. Abby, you're next. Okay. Where do you do where you ride your bike? I ride my bike all the way towards work and back to Hillcroft. Do you use like the Cardinal Greenway? Do you use the sidewalks? Do you use? The I usually use the sidewalks much more better than the bike trails. It's like just go right towards Hillcroft and boom, I'm there. I use it if I want to go to the park or somewhere else. How long have you been riding bikes? Uh, this is my first time ever riding a three wheel bike because I usually have trouble with a regular one. Okay. So did you ride bikes a lot as a kid? Or? I used to as a kid when I had my own first one mm -hmm. when it was small and it was tiny and it was like, eh. So you just kind of got back into it recently? Got recently back on to the bike for the first time. Exciting. Do you wish your bike is yours? May we? Get around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So would you say you use the bike more than like mid buses and other things? Yes. Is it faster to ride your bike? Or? Oh yeah, it's pretty much fast. That monster is unbeatable door to ride. When I was looking in my own shed, it was gone after that. But until your bike was gone. Yeah, so much so. So. So it's replaced already. Well, it's gonna be replaced anyways. And after it, the new one's going to be coming, I get to have that sir, and I get to ride again. So no more Miss Bus. Where did you get your three-wheeled bike at? Uh, I think Whitney got it for me, for me, when I first said, I was like, hey, I want a bike of my own, like a three-wheeled bike. Mm -hmm. I told her that, I was like, huh, well, we have to look and see what kind of a bike you want, bud. I was like, oh, okay. I waited till a while until I came home. <laughs> it was there. Perfect. Right in my bedroom and it showed up. It's like, whoa. Oh, yeah. Perfect. 
So what's your plan to keep your bike safe when you get replaced? Well, I'll be using my bike to order, come back towards work and then use the bike lock for it, mm-hmm. keep it locked up, then come back all the way towards Hillcroft, do the same thing, <laughs> and then come all the way back home, put it in my room. Okay. Then after a few weeks, the shed gets to be used okay. by this key. Looking forward to riding it again, huh? Oh yeah. After no more mess bus, I'll be having that sucker back in my hands. Yeah. Do you guys have any other questions for Brandon? Nope. Well, how do you normally get around, Mark? Uh, way, way out of the spot. So you ride mitts, right? Yeah. Abby, how do you normally get around? Bus. Do you ride the bus to the grocery store? No. Oh, who takes you to the grocery store? Mom. Oh, okay. So, Mom and the bus, but you use the bus to get to Hillcroft? Mm-hmm. Brandon, any final thoughts about what? riding bike? Um, nope. All right, thanks for joining us. I think it was a great interview, guys. Thank you. This month's podcast was written and recorded by the following contributors. Abby N., April T., Barbara, Brad M., Cammie, David D., Emily, Eric, Greg, Hattie, Hayden, James A., James W., Jan, Jason, Jeremiah, Jody, John, Jonathan, Josh G, Josh S, Christy, Linda, Lori E, Lori K, Mark, Mike D, Milton, Sarah, Seth, Todd, Tracy, and Brandon. Special thanks to Rebecca Rao, Christine Nance, Katie Shelton, and Tina Miner for their work to make this podcast possible. Hillcroft Services, Inc. provides home, community, and employment support services to individuals with disabilities in East Central Indiana. To find out more, please visit our website at www.hillcroft.org. To view subtitles for this podcast, please visit Hillcroft Music Therapy on YouTube and look for our podcast playlist. Thank you for listening. And I hope you have fun.